so let us see what is the meaning of finance shall we move into the chapter that is the title of the chapter is chapter number 9 financial management so there are mainly two words are associated in the title the one is finance the second one is management so as you know first we discuss the meaning of finance what is finance all of you know why the finance is required for business but what the meaning of finance is let us see finance means money required for carrying out business activities in a smooth way that is called finance finance means what the simple meaning money required for carrying out business activities that is called finance finance means what money amount so which is to be required for why it is required for carrying out business activities to make purchase to make production or to purchase the raw material to convert the raw materials into finished product to conduct all these activities we require human resource to pay the remuneration to human resource we require money so therefore the simple meaning finance means money required for carrying out business activities that is called finance or that is called business finance then why the money is required so here it arises a question why finance is needed so it arises a question so why the finance is required in business what is the main purpose of getting the capital requirement of amount so here the money is required for business for various purposes for many reasons so why exactly the capital is required means because of mainly four reasons because of these four reasons the money is essentially required for business enterprise so why the money is required means to establish a new venture so to construct a building we need to purchase the land to purchase a land to construct a a building for conducting production activities or to make a physical layout of a company means we require money so for that purpose to establish a new venture or to establish a building for company we require money right whether we required or not to purchase land we need finance so after purchasing the land we need to construct the building after constructing the building we need to install machines we need to purchase raw materials overallly to establish a new venture we require finance then second comes that is to run the business means to purchase raw materials and to convert raw materials into finished goods we we need machines to purchase these machines we require the capital and to perform various work we need workers employees 
and to monitor the work of workers and employees we are going to appoint supervisors to pay the remuneration to all these human resource we need finance right to operate day to day activities of business organization we need the finance why it is required to purchase raw material to convert raw materials into finished goods we need machines to install those machines in a production operation we need to purchase the machine means we need capital or amount to conduct all the business activities we need workers or employees to monitor the work of workers and employees we require supervisors so to all of them we need to pay the remuneration for that we also require finance then third reason comes to modernize the business so here modernization of business is an essential factor because business always operating in changing environment so the business is not operate in a constant environment always the business must adjust with whatever the changes made in the environment so already you learned in the chapter number 3 business environment so in that one of the element is technological environment so nowadays the technology is rapidly changing rapidly updating so to update our technology to the present technology means we need to make updation to update the technology which is used in production process we also require finance right so here to modernize the business means we require finance that is to install machines and to update those technical equipment means we also spent amount of capital or amount of expenditure to pay that expenditure we require finance the next to expand and to diversify the business organization so expansion is nothing but so it may be in a form of increasing in a sales or it may be in form of establishing more number of branches so here the expansion may be undertaken in any of the following so either it may be in increase in sales or either it may be in increasing in a establishment of more number of branches in different localities to open the branch so we also required physical facilities like a construction of a office making furniture of that office and make all the arrangement to undertake business operations for that also we require finance and to diversify the business diversify is nothing but entering into more product line say for example you are manufacturing you are manufacturing a cloth so you are started a manufacturing of cloth that is garment field so your company is get more popular your company clothes have a good demand in a market 
so either it may be the ready made clothes so based on that demand you are satisfying by providing good quality product so when your company name is getting increased when your company name is good in a market at that time you are going to plan to manufacture or to enter into a footwear to enter into the another field or another product so when the company getting growth when company is getting a good name in a market means they are going to produce different types of product so for this i gave an example you are started the company with manufacturing of cloth that is garments so you are giving a good quality clothes so you got a good name and fame in a market for your company there is a more good will so at that time you are going to make a plan to enter into production of footwear and to get entry into jewelry so in the same name of the firm if the company is producing different line of product means to produce the different line of product so they also require finance for purchase and install machines so therefore also they require finance is it clear the last is to expand and diversify the business means they also require more amount of capital so for these above stated reasons the finance is essentially required for business organizations so once again i'll revise in brief finance means a money which is required for carrying out business activities the business is needed for the four of the following reasons to establish a new venture we need finance to run the business smoothly we need finance to modernize the business we require finance to expand and diversify the business we also in a need of finance therefore the finance is referred as a life blood of every business organization this is about the meaning and concept of only finance what you learned you learned only about the first word meaning of financial management that is only the meaning of finance so the next concept is meaning of financial management now you know the meaning of finance and why the finance is required then we need to understand what exactly the financial management deals with so when you observe the word financial management there are two words associated already i told you that finance and management so then what is financial management i will tell you the simple meaning application of functions of management to finance is known as financial management it's very simple application of managerial functions of management to the financial aspect that is simply known as financial management so which are the functions of management already you learned in previous sessions also so here the simple meaning application of managerial functions to the concept of finance then it becomes financial management so it is in common words but in exact sense financial management means what let us see what it means it deals with the planning organizing directing 
and controlling financial activities that is important it deals with planning organizing directing and controlling which kind of activities financial activities which are the financial activities that is procurement of funds procurement means receiving or raising utilization of funds and also distribution of earnings to the owners that kind of activity is called a financial management so is it clear very simple financial management deals with the, the functions of planning organizing directing and controlling the financial activities which are the financial activities one is procurement of fund second is utilization of funds then third is distribution of earning to the owners managing of all these three financial activities that is known as financial management procurement means raising or collecting or gathering of required amount of finance and utilization means proper allocation of available resources to the organization and distribution of profit to the owners so where the financial management performs all these active financial activities that systematic process is known as financial management so very simple meaning financial management deals with planning organizing directing and controlling of financial activities of procuring utilization of funds and the distribution of capital or distribution of profit to the owners that is called financial management then each and every organization require two types of capital so each and every organization requires two kinds of capital requirement one is fixed capital requirement then second is working capital requirement is it clear already you learned about these two in first pvc business studies could you remember so in which chapter you learned so under the chapter of sources of business finance you learned about the requirement of capital so there are mainly two types of capital requirement for business organization one is fixed capital requirement then second is working capital requirement so these two are the types of capital which is required for every business organization so in next class i will discuss about the what is fixed capital and how the fixed capital is to be estimated so while estimating the amount of fixed capital or working capital what are the factors that we need to consider regarding about all those concept i will explain in the next video class what you learned in this class in this class you learned about introduction to finance and meaning of finance reasons for need of finance meaning of financial 
management and the types of capital required for business this is about today's concept